Hello, Rhode Island parents. This is Rich Southwell with a very important update on the Providence school mask mandate issue. It is Friday night, just to put a timestamp on it. It's been a very busy day and there have been some big developments. Um, the big thing that I need everybody to take away from this video is there is no hearing on Tuesday morning. That meeting, uh, that hearing has been postponed indefinitely. It's a good thing because we won and I'm gonna get into that in just a second. Um, but it's really important to know because I know we've been talking to a lot of people about coming to that hearing. Um, that hearing has been postponed. Please do not go to Superior Court on Tuesday morning. There will be no hearing. Um, please spread that message. Make sure that anybody you might have been talking to about going, make sure everybody knows there is no court hearing on Tuesday. Okay, so with that, why isn't there a court hearing? Well, the good news is we won. Um, under the threat of litigation, uh, the Rhode Island Department of Education came to the table and came to a settlement with our attorney, Greg Picciarelli. And I'm going to go to some notes because I want to make sure that I've got this just right. Um, but because of the threat of litigation, um, Rhode, Island Rhode Island Department of Education has agreed that, number one, the mask mandate in Providence schools will be dropped. Uh, we saw that announcement come out this afternoon. And um, so we know that that happened. And that's great news for the kids. Thrilled uh, that they're going to be able to go back to school on Tuesday morning, mask free, unless they choose to wear one, which is theirs, right? All we've ever asked for is choice. But the kids that don't want to wear a mask will not have to wear a mask. And the parents that don't want to put a mask on their child before school will not have to do so. So huge win there. Have a great day on Tuesday, everybody. Uh, item number two, uh, the Providence School Committee is encouraged to have an expedited hearing, including an open forum for parents to speak before any decision is made on how mass mandates will be reinstated in the future. What that means is that um, the Providence School Committee is going to have a meeting in the very near future to talk about school masking and what kind of mandates and what their procedure for, in for instituting a mandate might look like. And importantly, that will be a public meeting and there will be time for public comment. And so that'll be Providence parents and we will be getting back to you soon. As soon as we know when that meeting is going to be, we're going to want parents from around the state to line up and keep them there all night telling them how awful mask mandates are for children and the parents who, who love them. Um, but that's another discussion for another day. Um, but they now have to have an open public meeting to discuss the issue, which really seems like a pretty basic ask, but uh, it's been a tough one for them. So under the threat of litigation, they finally agreed to it. So great, great uh, concession that we got there. And then the third concession we got is that um, we'll be given, or specifically our attorney will be given 48 hours notice, excluding weekends, um, uh, should the uh, school committee decide that they want to impose another mask mandate. And this is there to make sure that, you know, oh yeah, we're going to take the masks off on Tuesday next week and then have them come along on Thursday and try the same thing again. Um, they're going to have to notify our attorney, you know, 48 hours in advance, and that will give him plenty of time to, you know, get a restraining order hearing back on the calendar and um, do all the things that he needs to do to, to, to attempt to block it. So, um, we will never be taken by surprise or, you know, have them do a snap, uh, a snap mandate on us. Uh, so that's another uh, really significant concession that we we're going to get. The only thing we gave up in return is that we agreed to suspend um, our temporary restraining order request. Um, we still have the right, we reserve the right to bring further action, um, you know, in the future if we feel like we need to. But uh, for now, we've agreed to stand down because they've, they've given us three very good concessions. So, a really big win for Providence kids, Providence families, uh, and every other parent in the state. I mean, this really came about because A, uh, some parents in Providence stepped forward and became plaintiffs in the lawsuit and were willing to testify and you know do the very, uh, very tough but very gratifying work of uh, being a party to a lawsuit. Um, so that was number one. And then number two, we could feel that there was a groundswell of support coming uh, for Tuesday's hearing, which we will not be having. Um, and I think there was a sense that this was going to be a very big, very embarrassing, very difficult to justify um, kind of a situation. There was a lot of parental backlash coming and they just didn't want that spectacle or that hassle. And so um, they folded up and said, we give up and, um, you know, we'll, we'll give in and, accede to your demands. So 
Really good win for everybody. Thank you again to the Providence families who came forward and uh, agreed to become plaintiffs. It is, I, I happen to know from personal experience, uh, it is not easy, but it is um, very, very gratifying. And, um, uh, you know, those kids are going to school on Tuesday uh, without mass because you stepped forward. So congratulations and thank you. And um, thank you for all the parents. Like I said, you just had a feeling you could see it. Um, on social media, I could see it in my texts, I could see it in my emails. There were a lot of people that were gonna show up on Tuesday and there was there was a, a smackdown coming and thank you because when people get together, when parents get together in large numbers like this and push, and as I said to Shikarchi, he wouldn't give it up yesterday, uh, the other night, but as I said to him the other night, when 600 parents showed up, you guys changed your plans and he knows it, I know it, he wouldn't admit it, but we all know what happened there. So when we get together in large numbers, um, the state backs down and that's just kind of the way it works. So thank you for all the people who answered the call. Um, I'm glad that we don't have to go. Uh, it's always better to win and, and settle on the courthouse steps. Um, but it was great that people were, were ready to drop what they were doing and come and there will be another day. Unfortunately, uh, there will be another day. This isn't over yet, but we want a nice battle today and, and we'll take it from here. So with that, um, thank you so much for, you know, uh, like I said, the support that we've been getting. Um, I wish you a great weekend. It's a long weekend. I think we'd all use an extra day off. It's been uh, a long couple months and a long school year. Um, but do uh, do take a couple minutes and remember why we have that day off and, and what we're commemorating. So with that, uh, I will bid you good evening and have a great weekend. And we'll be in touch uh, as this situation continues to unfold. Thanks so much. Bye.